Hey everybody, welcome back to week number 10 of my 12 weeks of Christmas. I hope you've been enjoying the series. Today I have a special um, gift packaging um, idea that I think is great for those last minute um, gifts that you need to throw together um, in a hurry. So let me turn the camera around. And it's just a little pocket, and I've slipped inside the pocket one of our peekaboo bags. Now, our peekaboo bags have this cute little window. I've stuffed some Ghirardelli um, chocolates inside the pocket. I'm going to take my little um, clothespin off, and then it just slips right in there. Now, I've put this little um, snowflake die cut right there just as an extra little... Um, flourish an extra little design element um, that is completely um, optional but I think it does add and um, you could also put a doily I think that would be cute um, and then I just added that little extra um, clothespin mini clothespin and I just think these are adorable so I'm using the um, Peekaboo treat bags, as I mentioned before, they come in a package of 10. You get five white and five craft. And how I measured this for our project was I took my bag and I just measured the width of it. So if you're using a different bag, just measure the width and add about a fourth of an inch on each side. And this is where we'll put our adhesive and I've just folded it in half to make the pocket. So this one measures, if you're using the peekaboo bags, it measures four and three eighths by seven. So I'm gonna just fold that in half. I'm not even gonna score it. The designer series paper I'm using um, is, let me mention that. I will list all the um, products I'm using today um, in the description below. This is the Sweetest Christmas 12 by 12 designer series paper. A lot of our products are going, going, gone right now. We're having our Stampin' Up! is having the year-end clearance or year-end um, last chance to make room for our new spring products. So some of the products are um, not available, but I'm sure you can figure something out to um, substitute um, if you find that they are out. Okay, now before I adhere my little pocket together, I added this little element. It's just a little half circle, kind of looks, um, makes way for the um, snowflake um, embellishment. You can either use um, a circle die and you would just run that through your um, die cutting machine or you can use a punch if you have a punch. I happen to have a punch, it's retired, um, but I'm gonna add that to the center of the front, just a little half circle, um, just like that, and that's gonna make the pocket. Okay, now I'm going to take some multi-purpose liquid glue. I just like it because I can handle it a little easier. It has a strong hold, and um, I just want the tiniest little stream of glue along these edges because I want my pocket. It's going to be a tight fit, but I want that. I don't want my pocket sliding around in there, my um, envelope, my little treat holder. So we're just going to hold those together for a second while they take hold. And while that um, adhesive dries, we'll set it aside and we can go ahead and add our embellishments. Now I am using the Sweet Gingerbread Bundle from Stampin' Up! for my little cottage and my little cloud. So we are going to stamp those. I'm using some Memento ink for the sentiment. I'm using some Pool Party, some Real Red, and some Shaded Spruce. I um, just thought the green 
and the reds would look good together and they are also colors pulled out from that um, designer series paper. I figure if the art the artists at Stampin' Up know which colors go together so I'm not going to question them. Now when I'm using photopolymer stamps I sometimes like to use my little um, paper piercing mat just to get a crisper image and it all depends on how um, um, juicy your stamps are, <laughs> your stamp pads are. Mine are, um, this pool party especially could use a good re-inking. So I just need to get out my re-inker. The um, image on the stamp set for the two windows is connected so that's kind of fun. Um, I need a red, real red heart. And I'm spacing these um, apart so that there's room for the, um, the dies. So I can run this through my die machine, um, all my die cutting machine all at once. One turn, right? Now for the um, gumdrops, I've got three colors. I've got the um, shaded spruce, the pool party, and the real red. So I am going to just ink up one in the real red and one in the pool party very carefully and there we go and then I will clean that off and I will get my shaded spruce gumdrop. I love how the gumdrops look like little um, hedges, little, little evergreen hedges. Okay, and then we need our little cloud. Now this is actually, the image is actually a word um, cloud. I think it's supposed to be smoke coming out of the chimney, but I'm using, for my purposes, I'm using it as a cloud. So when I die cut this out, I want to make sure that I trim off that little um, extra word piece. So I'm going to stamp this in the pool party. And I think we can close this all up. I'm going to leave the shaded spruce out because we're going to embellish our house with a little gingerbread trim here in a minute. And I am going to take the Memento Black ink and add my sentiment right over that little word bubble. Okay, now we would take all the coordinating dies and cut that all out, which I have already done so you don't have to watch me um, do all that. But by doing it all in one um, mighty swoop. <laughs> um, we only have to run it through once instead of several times for each of those elements. Now I've also cut out the little gingerbread house and I cut that out of crumb cake cardstock. And I'm going to add the and I cut out the little gingerbread roof line and I cut out the little fence line. So those all through all of these dies are included in the bundle. I love this set. So what I want to do is glue my gingerbread trim on first so I know where to place my little um, flourish stamp. This little image right here, I want it to be properly placed. So I am going to just place a little of this adhesive along the edge of the roof line. Like so. We can set this aside because we're done. Well, let's go ahead and stamp our little gingerbread flourish. I don't know what else to call it. I'm calling it a flourish. And I'm doing this in the um, shaded spruce as well. So 
I'm going to center that. I want to leave room for my little heart to go above the door. And now that we've got all of our elements, we can put everything together. Here's our little snowflake that I am taking from the wonderful snowflakes. These are die cuts out of the Holiday Mini. Their one side is a flat white, which you could stamp or um, use your blending brush and change whatever color you would like that to be. And one side is a um, kind of an iridescent. There, it's showing up a little bit on the camera. I believe these might be sold out. So what I would suggest, if you can't, if you have a snowflake die, that would work also. Um, a doily, which you can get anywhere at any craft store, the small little doilies would be also be really cute there. All right, here are all of our elements. We've got. This is the. Um, this is what takes the longest, is putting all these little tiny things on with my big fingers. <laughs> um, see, I've already lost one of the windows. Oh, here we go. They just fly everywhere. Here's our heart. I think that's so cute. And our little gumdrops. There we go. Oh, I think I'm going to keep this out. This helps me sometimes. This or my tweezer, my U-Pick tool. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier. See the word bubble? I want to use it as a cloud instead. So I'm just going to take my little paper snips and just very casually <laughs> cut that little tick off of there. And now it's a cloud, okay? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and um, put our little cute little house together. I have a feeling I'm going to have to use my tweezers because I need to put the adhesive on the back of these elements. I'm going to pick my door. I love the multi-purpose liquid glue because it gives me a minute to adjust things. Okay, now I consider popping the heart up on a, um, a, a dimensional, and I think I will on this one and see what I like. Now on this one, I did not pop that heart up, but let's see what um, we think. I will have both, both to compare, because I did think about that. I'm going to use a mini Stampin' Dimensional for that. That's kind of cute, popped up. I kind of like that. All right, now we're going to put our pocket together. So I am going to go ahead and put my um, treat bag. I'm going to slide it right in this pocket. And like I said, it's going to be a tight fit. Um, if you want it to be a little looser, you can... Um, you know, make your pocket a little wider than the bag. But I wanted mine to be a very tight fit so that when I'm carrying it around, that pocket doesn't fall out. Alrighty. Now, the reason I put it in first, because I want to figure out the placement of my snowflake. And I did this flat against the bag just on that small little spot. Um, because of the getting it in and out of the pocket. I don't think um, people will pull it in and out, but just in case. Um, and these are kind of fragile, these little snowflakes. They are stronger because they're not really, um, 
They're kind of a plastic feel, probably because of the iridescent coating. Okay, and then I have cut, we cut the little um, gate out, so we don't need the whole thing. So we can trim that wherever we want. <laughs> and I'm just gonna very lightly add some multi-purpose liquid glue to that and just eyeball where I want it. I'm gonna kind of peek out from behind the house and I do want to make sure that it's parallel with the bottom. Now we're going to pop the little um, gingerbread house up with our regular Stampin' Dimensionals. I just think these are the cutest little treat packages. I think they would be great for a gift card. Throw some um, chocolates in there with a gift card. Um, just what a great way to gift, gift a gift card. <laughs> Okay, and then on my little um, gumdrops, I went ahead and used our mini Stampin' Dimensionals on those. You'll notice that on the gumdrops, there is a solid one and then one with sprinkles. You could use this as a transom window, um, which I have done on some projects over the door instead of the heart. And I am just going to place these gumdrops right along the fence line. I kind of think of Hansel and Gretel when I see this. <laughs> this is the Wicked Old Witch's house. <laughs> but we're not going to think that way. This is Christmas time. This is Mrs. Santa's house. Okay, now for the um, sentiment. I just glued that flat on there because we're going to add our little bow. And I didn't want it to be uh, in the way of that. You might have to tuck it a little bit behind the house here. There we go. Now, um, Stampin' Up! does not sell mini um, post pins at this time. They have in the past, and these are um, retired ones that I have just saved through throughout the years. But you can get these at any craft store. In fact, I think Walmart sells packages of the little um, mini I think I've seen them there too. Now I used this green one here because I thought it matched so well with the shaded spruce, but that was the only green one I have. So we can either use a silver one or the um, plain one. I didn't really want to use um, one of the bigger ones. I just thought these mini ones looked, looked more pr proportionate. So I'm going to use this silver one. I think that will be cute. Festive for Christmas time. And then I just added some Baker's Twine. Uh, a double bow Baker's Twine. I'm using the Stampin' Up! The Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. It comes with four, five different colors. Um, you can tell I use the black a lot. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to do a double bow. For this. Decide how long I want the little tails to be. And how big I want that bow to be. 
it just adds a little um, extra texture to the project, I think. There's so many things that your eye is drawn to. And I hate it when the baker's twine always curls. Here we go. I think I like that. And then to put that onto my clothespin, I'm just going to use a mini glue dot. Just going to place that right here on my clothespin. And add my bow. And that is the project. Isn't that cute? Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you are enjoying the series. If you um, have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, and look forward to week 11 um, of the 12 weeks of Christmas next Tuesday. Have a great week and we'll talk soon.